Hey guys, welcome to Keys Moths. Look who emerged and is crawling on my finger. It's the red spotted purple. And this is gonna be a simple video where I just show you, show off this, this beautiful butterfly a little bit. It's worthy of showing off. And I've got 10 more chrysalis to go. This is the first one that emerged. And so we're just gonna show him off a little bit and talk a little bit about the red spotted purple butterfly and their habits. Look, what a beauty, man. Uh, guys, comment down below anything at all about the beauty of this butterfly. Uh, guys, let's get to the video and we're gonna talk a little bit about the red spotted purple butterfly, Limonitis Arthemis. Yeah, so the red spotted purple is a butterfly that is not toxic, guys. It's not toxic at all, to my knowledge. But it lives its life as if it were. It lives its life in a way that is um, showing itself off. It's got bright colors, got the bright blue, bright red dots, and it's advertising its presence to birds and other predators. And so uh, it's a dangerous play, but that must say something about the distasteful nature of the pipevine swallowtail. Because, you know, if, if it's worth all that, um, that much play, then it must say a lot about how distasteful that butterfly is, the pipevine, if it looks like it, and it's gonna try and play all of its cards on, on being toxic and re or, or being a mimic of that toxic butterfly to hope that birds and stuff won't eat it. You know, that's, um, that's its entire survival strategy as a mimic. So uh, incredible bug guys, isn't it? Well guys, I wanted to, well guys, I wanted to share with you my first freshly emerged red spotted purple. It's a male came out absolutely perfectly. And um, just wanted to show off this incredible bug. I'm gonna try and take some video and photography of it. Um, females are a little bit larger than this. They've got a little bit, of, little bit of a different wing shape. And the iridescent blue, it's a little bit of a deeper blue instead of a silvery greenish blue. If you know about the Viceroy, you can also see how the wing shape and venation is very, very similar to that of a Viceroy. But um, this guy is just about an hour, caught him about an hour after he emerged. I was hoping to get the emerging on video, but that didn't happen. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly. Um, how cool is that? Red spotted purple, guys. Um, we're gonna make some cool videos Hopefully we'll get some females out as well in the group. And we will show you as much as we can about this beauty. I'm trying to show you some of the underside. Let me see if I can get the underside shot for you. Why they call them red spotted purple. Got these bright red spots underneath here. And when they're fresh, they definitely have a purplish sheen. Well, he doesn't want to show his underside, but he's getting ready to, to motor. <laughs> See if I can get him from the side. What a beautiful bug. When the flash hits those wings the right way, I mean, they just light up iridescent blue. So you can see the iridescence in there. I'll show you some of my images when you hit it with the flash with the camera. There's a lot more hidden iridescence in there than what we're seeing here. So I like it guys, very cool. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can appreciate this butterfly. Um, it mimics the pipe vine swallowtail, which lives in most of its habitat. Um, 
most of the, most of the places where they live, they, they live together. So the pipevine swallowtail has the same kind of iridescent blue, greenish blue markings on the hind wing and even the, the underside. The pipevine swallowtail has those kind of reddish orange dots along the hind wing as well. And it's a great mimic. It's about almost the same size. The pipevine swallowtail would have the little tails there, but, and they obviously, the pipevine swallowtail feeds on aristolochias or pipevines, which are toxic, which is why the adults of that species carry that toxicity. But this guy here, from what I know, is not toxic. He ate willow. That's how they, they roll. So the, the closely related viceroy mimics the monarch and the queen. And this limited species mimics the pipevine swallowtail. And that's how they roll, man. They, they, they thrive on mimicry as a group. Now, when you get up to the Northern United States and Canada, the red spotted purple gets a white band on the hind wing and the fore wing and becomes the white admiral. But down here in South Florida, or actually down here in the Southern United States, uh, they don't have the white band at all. And that's why we have our red spotted purple. So, whoop, he just flew. All right, guys. Um, and this is in the fall, so this is the fall brood. Um, it, it's a great bug. If you ever get to see one out in the wild, you're a lucky person uh, because they are absolutely stunning. Uh, they eat fruit as adults, tree sap. A lot of times you'll see them on dirt. Um, they're sipping things off the mud and they like flowers too. So guys, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications so when we raise cool bugs like the red spotted purple, you will get notified. Oh, look, he's starting to, is he licking my sweat with his proboscis? A little bit. Yeah, get, get, click the bell for notifications, guys, because when we raise cool bugs like the red spotted purple, you'll get notified and you won't miss any of our videos. So hope you liked it. Check out our other videos on the Red Spotted Purple Life Cycle, and we've got more to come on this beautiful butterfly. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.